years ago, I think, um, the anxiety level started to rise as soon as I had a daughter. Um, and, and here I am today. It's, it's, it's re reached the peak. Good? Yeah, okay. I think that. But I like it. There's definitely anxiety around um, the father of the bride uh, and the comments that he has to give on the day that he's uh, kind of passing his daughter off to somebody else. In, in 87, Lauren comes into our lives. Uh, the perfect, perfect uh, daughter. When Sheila became pregnant for the second time, I was praying that we would have another daughter like Lauren. She quickly um, adopted the big sister role. They are as close as you can get. Yeah, I think it's up to you. He said he's fine with the other one. I know. I like, where is it? I Lauren and I are the type of sisters who are unbelievably close. I tell her everything. You're always no matter what you're doing, I don't know what you're doing. Now that we're older, we're truly best friends. Lauren is the type of sister who, no matter what, will take my side with anything. She is always there to back me up. All I want for Lauren is happiness. For her to have a career that she loves, friends and family who are always there for her, and finally a marriage that brings her so much joy. And over the past few years, I've been lucky enough to see all of that fall in place for her. Oh, his little chicken scratch. Yeah. <laughs> Lauren, I'm the luckiest man alive. Truly, you're amazing. I'm so excited for our wonderful day and our perfect life together. You're beautiful, smart, funny, and truly the love of my life. Thank you for everything and for making me so happy. I love you with all of my heart and soul and always will. I've known Clayton for 15 years now. I remember a phone call I got from Clayton. And anyone that knows Clayton knows when he's got this certain happiness in his voice. He had this excitement, and I'm thinking, okay, one of two things happened. He either got to do something cool as an oral surgery resident, or he met his dream girl. Well, he called to tell me that he had set the record for the time to take out four wisdom teeth at his hospital. <laughs> a few weeks later, I get another call from Clayton. Same excitement in his voice. This time it was to tell me about a special girl that he knew. It was Lauren. for one card can't hold the lengthy list of reasons I love you and all the things that I love and adore. It goes without saying that your intelligence, charms, good looks, etc, etc, draw me in the beginning and the last four years have made me fall so deeply and unconditionally in love with you. getting to know her over the past couple of years and I couldn't have handpicked a better girl for Clayton. She's beautiful, smart, funny, caring. A little bit about Clayton. His personality is infectious and he knows how to have fun. 
wherever he goes, he lights up a room, and more often than not, he lights up a bar tab too. In all seriousness, fellow Lauren, you found yourself an amazing guy. I've never met anyone more honest, respectful, and loyal, and I know he's gonna treat you like a princess. I know you're gonna make a great wife, and the two of you are gonna be really happy together. Clayton, you're like a brother to me, and today I feel like I gained a wicked new sister. Oh my goodness. I forget how beautiful it's beautiful. See? It's Charlie. <laughs>
have affirmed their solemn vows, signified by the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rain. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put us on. welcome you this evening to say thank you for joining us for Clayton and Lauren's special day. It's truly a joy to be able to celebrate this special, happy occasion. We'd like to thank everyone, especially Lauren's family, to share in our joy and happiness. Clayton, we are so happy and excited that you found the love of your life and best friend. We are blessed that Lauren is now part of our family. Clayton and Lauren, your marriage will certainly have this share of happy times and frustrations. Invest your time and energy in making each other happy, in making each other feel loved, and in making each other laugh when times are tough. Each day remembering this and you married because you can't live without each other. On this note, I'd like to welcome Lauren into our family with open arms, knowing that our love will grow stronger in the year to come. God bless you both and we wish you the very best. Please join me now in a toast to uh, the bride and groom, the Lord and Christ. To our bridal party um, for the girls. You guys are my best friends in the world. You make my life better every single day. I love you all so much. And Jenna, like, I'll start crying if I go into the list of reasons, like, how wonderful you are. Like, 
you are the goodness that this world needs more of. Like you are perfection, like being your big sister, like was the best thing you could have ever done. Anyway. <laughs> Um, so to all of our guests, so many of you have traveled like near and far, but you've all traveled to get here and we appreciate it so much. You're all very busy people, I know that. And to give up your weekend or your Saturday for us is just so, so, so special and we appreciate it so much, more than I can say. Um, and of course, to our parents, um, to my mom and dad and Trudy and Marvin, Thank you so much for showing us what a successful, happy marriage is and what we want to live up to. And to Trudy and Marvin, thank you for accepting me so graciously. Moving out west for a maritimer is a difficult task, but you're making it a lot easier. <laughs> um, and mom and dad, I love you so much. You guys are the best at and to Clayton. I have been wretched this whole week because I've been really stressed and you just put up with it with a smile on your face and did all the stupid tasks. And I thank you so much. <laughs> um, in terms of uh, family, uh, Lauren's parents, you guys have been awesome. Uh, over the last six years when I was living here, I really felt like I was one of the family. You were so well for me. Uh, I was always at all the different events, and uh, you guys really made me feel like one of the part of the family from the very beginning. And I'm getting nervous. I don't even get too nervous when I talk. <laughs> <but>. <laughs> You're almost done. <laughs> Lauren, honestly, you're just so amazing. Everything about you, uh, from the time we met, and to all the time we've had in the last little while. You've been so supportive of with me uh, through, through your education, uh, traveling with me down to Florida, to Edmonton, and you're always so loving, you're always so caring, uh, you're so beautiful and smart, and you impress me every day. And I'm the luckiest man to be able to spend this time with you and to spend the rest of our lives together. And I'm so happy that we are.